Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, my name is Aye and I'm here with a client makeup tutorial for you guys. So I'll be showing you how I achieve a full face makeup on my beautiful model. So starting off with her brows, as you guys can see, she has nice, bold, beautiful brows. Absolutely loved her brows. So I didn't focus on shading them in too heavily. So very light handed with my pencil and I'm just shading in the top and mainly towards the tail. I never usually um, shade in the very front of the brow unless my client absolutely needs some shading in that area. So typically my focus points are always the upper brow, the lower brow, and mainly the tail and in between the brow, um, pretty much where the client has any sparse areas. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, I'm very light handed with my pencil and the pencil that I'm using is Absolute Brow Pencil in the color Smoke. And I pretty much use this pencil on everyone. It's really perfect and I absolutely love it. So now I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and the brush that I'm using is the Crown C467 brush, which is my go-to brush to carve out brows and cut creases. And I'm just dragging the concealer all underneath her brow and just carving out her brow. And then if I decide I can sharpen up the brow or make the brow smaller, I go back in and do so. And as you guys can see, sometimes I do go over the same areas twice or three times. And this is just to ensure that I'm getting the best precision as possible. And honestly, no one's rushing you. So you just want to make sure, honestly, that you're taking your time. And I learned this the hard way. Like when you really do take your time and focus in on what you're doing, that you'll probably achieve better detailed results versus when you're like you know speeding through or rushing and stuff like that i definitely do like to take my time when it comes to blending when it comes to eyebrows when it comes to cutting creases so on and so forth so now i'm just using my real techniques um i don't know, remember what brush this is but i'll detail it down below and i'm just buffing the concealer into her skin and blending out the edges so i don't have any harsh lines and as you guys can see that concealer is like melted and blended into her skin that's what you want your results to look like, okay? So now going in with my P. Louise number two base and I'm just going to buff this all over her eyelid and this is going to be my base for my eyeshadow. And notice that I put the base and the concealer on the back of my hand and then I go in and pick it up with the brush and this is because it gives me more control over how much product I'm putting onto the client's eyelid. So now I'm going to guide you guys as to how I achieved this eye. So with no added product, I just went back in and re-blended that eyeshadow base because it did have some creases. Now starting off with the eyeshadow, I'm using the Warrior Palette from Juvia's Place. And the first shade I'm using is Cano. And the blending brush that I'm using is from Coastal Sense. Notice that I pat the color on first and then I work on slowly blending it. And I'm just going to build this color up to the intensity that I want it to be. So I'm continuously going to um, apply about three to four layers of this color and just work on blending it out into her upper crease area. I didn't want the background to be too dark and too harsh. So that's why I mainly focused on like really diffusing that color as much as I could. So now I went ahead with um, the second color which is going to be a darker chocolate shade and it's the shade Mino from the um, same palette and I just worked on patting that right in the same areas and diffusing it also into her upper crease area and making sure I also left enough of that color towards the outer V of her eye because I wanted it kind of to have a soft smoked out effect not too dark though but just like kind of subtle so this is kind of a, supposed to be like a subtle look So now I'm going back in with the P. Louise base and I'm going to pat that right onto her eyelid space, not taking it too far out to the outer V corner. And then I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and I'm just going to diffuse the edges of that base. Then I'm going to go in with this Inglot pigment. The number will be listed down below in the description bar. And I'm just going to softly just pat this all over that eyelid space where I placed the P. Louise eyeshadow base. And when you're picking up the pigment with your brush, you want to make sure you're not picking up too much that way you don't have so much fly away or so much excess fallout. 
Now for the final step, I'm focusing on lightly deepening the smoky eye by adding more of that Mino eyeshadow towards the outer V of her eye. Now I'm going to give her a wing liner. The eyeliner that I'm using is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the color Noir. And what I'm doing is literally just dragging this across her lid. Um, I've done her makeup so many times so I already know like what's up and how to do this on her eyes without having her to open and close her eyes multiple times. If you guys want a detailed wing liner tutorial, feel free to let me know down below and I'll try to drop one for you guys. Now to clean up or sharpen the edge of the wing, I like to take a very small amount of concealer and I slowly drag that along the edge of the wing and then I blend it out by slightly bringing the concealer downwards with my brush. Now I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Smoothing Primer. I applied this all over her skin and then I went ahead and massaged it into her skin to help it sink in. I know it looks so rough, but I promise you guys I'm really not. I'm like super gentle with my clients, but I feel like when I look back at my videos, I'm like, damn, I you so rough. Like... <laughs> So while I was priming her face, I already had the lashes set to the side with the dual glue on them, waiting for them to get tacky. So right now I'm just using my lash applicator to apply these to her eyes. And she liked them. Guys, we had put some other lashes on her. She wanted to try something new. And when she opened her eyes, she was like, oh my god, no, this gotta go. I'm like, Ashley, you gotta stick to the lashes you usually get because you're not one to try something that's new. And these are already beautiful on your eyes, so we don't need to change that. So now for the face, goodness gracious, this girl would not stop cracking up. Like she just kept laughing and I'm like, you know what, let me stay serious so she can stay serious because if I don't stay serious and she don't stay serious, we gonna be here all day. So I had to stay serious with her because <laughs> we would have like not made any progress with this video, okay guys? But anyways, so for foundation, I used NARS. Tahoe in the natural longwear radiant collection and the lighter shade foundation that I applied on top of that was a Becca foundation I don't remember the name off the top of my head But of course I'm going to leave it down below in the description bar and I'm just using an elf foundation brush and just buffing that into her skin Taking my time and just you know going over the same areas twice three times however many times needed so The foundation looks the way I want it to look which is basically melted into the skin now to highlight her face, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to apply this directly underneath her eyes, the bridge of her nose, and then I went in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer also. I think this one was Tan Deep Sand and I applied a little bit of that right on top of that previous shade. And now I'm just going to carve out the top of her brow. I always, always do this step after foundation. If you're not new to my channel, then you already know what's up. Um, and then to contour her face, I used the foundation. I used a uh, NARS foundation in the shade Macau. And notice that I didn't apply so much of it because I'm really not a heavy contour person. Um, so I just wanted to basically just chisel her cheeks a little bit. Now I'm working on blending out that concealer, leaving it focused underneath her eye. And my beauty blender is damp, guys. <laughs> Funny story, I had a client she saw me leave with a very small beauty blender when I came back. It was really big. She was like, hey, how did yours get so big? I bought the same one and it's so little. I'm like, sis, you're supposed to wet it. And make sure it's damp and squeeze all the water out. Like, you gotta make sure your beauty blender is damp, guys. You gotta wet that thing, okay? So now I'm just working on blending out the rest of that contour. For the cheeks, you wanna make sure you're blending your contour upwards and that's gonna basically give you that chiseled look that you know snatch your cheeks or whatever so now I'm going to set her face using that same beauty blender that I used to blend out her concealer I'm just picking up the powder on the beauty blender and I'm just pressing that into her skin and look how seamless that looks the setting powder that I'm using is the RCMA no color powder and this powder is true to its name okay guys it's literally no color to it which is so amazing now I'm lining her waterline with my MAC feline eyeliner pencil for this step if you happen to notice that your client has very twitchy eyes or they're blinking a lot or 
they might have a watery eye i suggest going little by little taking small pauses in between that way it gives them time to blink or doing one eye and coming back to the other eye like a minute or two later that way you don't end up having a teary eye situation now I went in with my Mac Miller Light Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark Deepest and I'm basically just going over that contoured foundation that I put on her face earlier. So this is also another reason why I don't go so dark with the foundation contour because if I do decide I want to go darker I could just always go back in with a powder contour and just deepen that up a little bit more. So now using a small detail brush, I'm using Cypress Umber from the Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm placing that right underneath that black eyeliner. I actually have no idea what made me grab this palette this day, but you can actually use the Mino eyeshadow shade from the Juvia's Place palette. It's the same color pretty much and it'll do the same exact thing. I did this because I felt like it would make the eyes pop out a little bit more. Now to blush her cheeks, I'm using a blush from NYX and the brush that I'm using is from Real Techniques. I always like to leave my blush mainly focused on the cheeks so I just apply it to the cheeks and I fluff my brush away from the cheeks so that way it just stays in the cheek area. Now in case there was any setting powder left on her face, I'm just using a clean brush with no added product and I'm basically just patting and swiping away in those areas that I had placed that powder. For highlight, I'm using my MAC O oh Darling highlighter and my Morphe M501 brush. Um, for highlight, I know it's supposed to stay like on your upper part of your cheekbone, but I kind of like to blend the highlight with the blush and the contour. Not all the way down to where the contour starts, of course, but I don't know. That's just my personal preference. That's how I like my highlights to look on myself and my clients. It's just me, my personal preference, you know, to each in their own. Don't come for me, okay, guys? So just wiping off her lips. I didn't even put foundation on her lips. I'd be wondering how all this foundation be getting on my client's lips. But just wiping off her lips with a makeup wipe. And for a lip liner, I use MAC Cork Lip Liner. And the lip gloss combo I used on her will be listed down below in the description bar. So now I'm going to set her face with the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. And this is the final look. She <laughs> Here she go. This is her reaction, okay, guys? She When she get the mirror, she don't know how to act. That be on my clients. Some of them don't be wanting to give me my mirror back. I'll be like, um, okay, I'll take my mirror back now, okay? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to leave me any feedback you may have down below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me also. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? Thank you. See you in my next video.